Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. In today's session, we will be learning about Math Preview. It's a comprehensive math tool inside Microsoft Teams that helps you edit, solve, graph your math equations. You can perform your differentiations, integrations, matrices, logs, and much, much more. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. There are multiple ways you can use Math Preview in your classes. You can strictly use it as an equation editor, or you can enable the bot and use it to solve and graph your equations. Let's go ahead and take a look how you can add this app to your Teams. So here I am on my Teams app on my desktop. And on the left-hand side, when I scroll all the way down to these three ellipses, and I click on this, here, these three ellipses let me add the app that I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in math. And the first app that pops up is Math Preview. And here you have an option to add it to your personal Teams or add it to a specific classroom by clicking on Add to Team or you can add it to a chat. Let's say you are having a one-on-one -on -one tutoring with your student. You might wanna do this just so that you and the student can have that equation editor. And here you can add it to a meeting. If you're having a review session with your class, you might want to go ahead and enable this one so students can type in the equations. Now let's go ahead and see a second way of adding this app to your classroom. So here I am on my Teams Math. Let me click on this. And here I would go to the channel called Hangout with Instructor. And I'm going to start a new conversation. And here, all the way in the bottom at the Quick Access Tools, when I click on these three ellipses, here I can search for the app that I want to add to my conversation. I'm going to go ahead and type Math, and the first thing that pops up is Math Preview. I'm going to click on this, and it's going to ask me to add this app to my conversation. Again, keep in mind, you are just adding an equation editor, not a bot. So let's go ahead and take a look at the difference. I'm going to click Add. I usually try to add my math preview to one-on-one -on -one tutoring with my students just so that they have that flexibility of typing the equations. And as you can see, the math equation editor has popped up. Here you have an option to draw your equations or type in your equations. All you have to do is toggle between these two switches. And here you see there's trigonometric functions, there's stats, there's calculus, matrices, and much, much more. Let's quickly take a look and see how you can use this equation editor in your conversation. Again, once you add it, your equation editor or the math preview will automatically pop up in your quick access tool. If it does not, simply right click and make sure you click on pin. So let me click on my math equation editor and here I'm going to switch to typing in and I'm going to type in the equation x squared minus 4x, um, I don't know, plus let's say 9 is equal to 0 and I'm going to click submit and as soon as I click submit, here I have my equation typed in into my chat. And again, when you're using an equation editor, the only option you will have is a submit button. Students can also use this draw tool and draw the equations. Now let's go ahead and see how you can enable a math preview bot inside your classroom. Let me click on this math preview app to show you the difference. Here, I only have an option to submit my equation. I do not have an option to solve or graph my equations. Now, let me close this. To enable your bot, all you have to do is type at. And here, a suggestion pops up asking to get the bots that you want. So let me click on that and type in math. Again, you're enabling a bot here. I'm going to click on math preview and I'm gonna add it to this conversation. So as soon as the math bot has been enabled, it's asking me, what can I do for you? And when I click here, it's gonna give me all these different options to solve, image upload, graph, and various other things. 
So you as an instructor might want to decide when and how you want to use this bot. Again, equation editor is strictly to edit and write equations. But as soon as you enable the bot, students can solve and graph these equations or expressions with one click of a button. So here I'm going to say solve and I'm going to type in an equation 2x plus 5 is equal to 9 and I'm going to press enter. And it's taken a minute and here it says, hey, solve solution steps. This is the solution. Do you want to look at the solution steps? Do you want to graph or do you want to view more videos on it? So let's click on solution steps. And here I have step-by-step -step instructions on how this is solved. And if you closely look, there is an immersive reader inbuilt inside this as well, where students can use this immersive reader, translate the entire solution into different languages, or change the background based on their needs. Now let me close this and click on the graph. And here it's generating the graph for me. And here I have my graph of 2x plus 9. And here it says view interactive graph, graph both sides in 2D, graph in 2D. And I also have options to view more videos. So when I click on that, here I have all different videos to help me comprehend more on how to solve these kind of questions. Now let's go ahead and try one more. Again, to enable the bot, I simply click at and type in the word math and here is my bot popping up. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that and it's gonna ask me what can I do? I'm gonna go back and click solve and I'm gonna paste the equation and I'm going to click send. And as soon as I do that, the AI feature in the back is trying to solve the equation for me. In here again, I have options either to view the solutions, graph or view more videos. Let's just say you want to enable this bot only for a specific period. You as an instructor can do that as well. So if I'm an instructor and I want to have a review session with my students or intervene with my students, have one-on-one -on -one tutoring with my students, I will go ahead and enable this bot. But once I'm done, here is where you go to disable the bot. So here is my teams all the way on these three ellipses. When you click on these ellipses, it says manage team. I'm going to click on my apps. And here is my math preview. And I'm simply going to disable it. And it says uninstall. I'm going to go ahead and uninstall. But keep in mind when you uninstall the bot, the math preview equation editor will still be alive. Your students can still use that. Let's go ahead and check that. So here I am on the same channel. I'm going to say at and I'm going to try to initiate the bot. I'm going to say at math and I'm going to click on math preview. And when I do that, instead of asking me, hey, how can I help you? An equation editor props up. So as an instructor, you have an option to enable or disable your bots. I highly recommend checking or managing your student permissions so you don't give students a permission to add or disable these apps and bots. You might want to cross check that before you start using these app or bot in your classrooms. But let's just say you do not want these apps in your classrooms and you strictly want it for your personal use. You can do that as well by clicking on these three ellipses and again typing your math preview and just clicking add to your team and not to any classroom or any chat or any meeting. And again, quickly editor lets you just type in your equations and the bot lets you solve and graph your equations. So as an instructor, you decide how you want to manage your classes and when you want to enable those apps. I hope you enjoyed the video today. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please make sure you like, subscribe, and if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. There could be an educator who might really want to use this editor or the bot to make sure his or her classes are much more fun and engaging. And always remember, happy teaching, and please take care of yourself.